This video will show you how to use the Dialog System add-on for OpenAI to generate text for branching conversation trees. It's a great way to prototype lots of dialog or help you break through writer's block. For this video, we'll create a reusable generic shopkeeper conversation template and then apply it to two different shopkeeper NPCs. In this project, I've imported the dialog system and the OpenAI add-on. I've also entered my OpenAI API key and clicked the button in this tutorial database to add knowledge and goals fields to my actors. In the Actors section, I've defined a generic shopkeeper actor and two actual shopkeepers for the game. Dizzleflix is a gnome in the village of Sunflower Glen. I've typed in some details here that OpenAI can draw on. Scarland the Destroyer is another shopkeeper in the village of Darkwood. I've typed in his details here. I've also written the skeleton of a reusable conversation tree for shopkeepers. This conversation tree has a structure, but it doesn't have any dialog text yet. Notice that the conversant is our generic shopkeeper actor. The conversation's description provides the context for the conversation. In the first dialog entry, the shopkeeper greets the player. In the leftmost branch, the player asks what's for sale and the shopkeeper replies. Note that these prompts all go in the entry's title fields. The middle branch is for selling items, and the rightmost branch allows the player to ask if anything interesting is happening in the shopkeeper's village. To apply this to a specific shopkeeper, we could just duplicate the conversation like this. However, I've also saved this conversation as a template in a JSON file. So what we'll do is create a new conversation from the saved template. The new conversation from the template gets a 1 appended to its title. Now I'll copy Dizzleflix's name. We'll use that as the conversation title and set the conversant to Dizzleflix. We'll also mention the shopkeeper's name in the description. And that's all we need to type. The rest is up to the add-on. Click the conversation's AI button. We'll bump up the temperature for more variety and then click Generate. These are the dialog text suggestions that OpenAI has come up with. You can see that they reference Dizzleflix's specific content, such as the village of Sunflower Glen. Then we just click Accept to add that text to the conversation. Here you can see Dizzleflix's greeting. And here's her text for buying items. and her info about her village. Now we'll use the same process for the next shopkeeper. This time I will duplicate the original conversation. Then I'll copy Scarlin's name and set the conversation's properties. Then we just click AI, generate, and let the add-on do its thing. You can see that the text is different for this warrior merchant. When we click accept, we can see the text in our conversation. Here's his greeting. And here's some interesting information about Darkwood. If you have second thoughts about any entry's text, 
You can always modify it yourself or click the AI button next to the dialog text field to ask the add-on for alternative suggestions. Since this is a shopkeeper conversation, you'll probably want to add some sequencer commands or commands in the script fields to actually open up a shop UI, depending on how you're integrating your inventory system with the dialog system. And if you want to generate voice acting for these conversations, the add-on can do that too, using OpenAI, Eleven Labs, or any of the other integrations provided with the add-on. And that's it for the branching dialog tutorial. Thanks for watching.